swinging into action at the free running world championships. It's the urban activity that sees sport and art combine in an outdoor space. The idea is to clear a series of obstacles, walls, railings, even buildings with maximum speed and efficiency. The urban art form, which many describe as sport, is usually seen on city streets rather than an indoor arena. It's just a way of movement. Um, it can be a discipline, you have the fitness of an athlete, you have to have um, the flexibility of a gymnast. It's all these things rolled into one. The fact that it isn't really defined is what makes it what it is, sort of thing. The craze, first known as parkour, sprang up in the suburbs of Paris in the late 1980s and has since spread around the globe. These free runners have travelled from as far as Brazil, South Africa, Egypt and the United States. Competitors, armed with nothing more than a good pair of trainers, improvise a routine that combines the skills of martial arts, skateboarding and gymnastics. You don't think, right, now I have to do this. It's more, what do I feel like doing? What does my body tell me to do? What, what can I do? What can I play with? What, what can my imagination think of to do? It just makes me free. I feel myself and I, I get a great kick out of it. The adrenaline rush is great. And it's, it's just myself. It, it's, it's now a passion for me and I just love doing it. While it might not be seen at the London 2012 Olympics, free running is growing in popularity. Competitors hope that the inaugural championships will raise its profile further and encourage more people to leap into action.